Hi, I'm Nick Fredericks, and I'm here today to give you a few tips and tricks about Orient, which is a feature of our product Sherlock, which is a plugin for Navisworks. So Orient's basic function is to point out a model item to a specific detailer while you're in a coordination meeting. Something like this. If we're uh, looking at this VAV and the ductwork detailer needs to know where they're at, you can right click on that VAV and boom. You've got a big red arrow showing that uh, VAV in a floor plan and hopefully they can pick that out in a matter of seconds. You can click on exit orient, you're right back to where you started. But orient can be used in many different ways really. Um, one thing it's great for is to simply just isolate a model to get, uh, really quickly. So when you're in the plan view model or plan view uh, screen of Orient, you are able to still kind of move around. So now I've got an isolated ductwork model and I can really just quickly understand how things are routed in this model. So that really does help give you some uh, extra information when you're thinking about how to coordinate an area. Another thing that you can do um, is that you can actually um, just isolate, say the architectural model really quickly. So if I choose something like this ceiling, and then I show it in plan. Now I can see exactly where I was in the floor plan of the this level of this building. So it's like it's a very nice way for you to just uh, be able to point out the location to yourself, even when you're just navigating around a model and trying to get acquainted with where you're at. Um, one other thing that you can do is you can actually choose more than one thing to isolate. You can choose more than one model. So if I choose, say, something in this mechanical pipe model, I can also choose something in this ductwork model. And now I've got an isolation of just the mechanical pipe model and the ductwork model. And this is great for really quick visual checks. You know, things like just making sure that there's mechanical pipe run to every single one of the VAVs in the sheet metal model. So you can do a quick pan and look, I can already found here that this VAV must have moved at some point, but the uh, mechanical pipe hasn't been extended to that VAV yet in the model. So that's a, a just a quick thing that wouldn't show up on a, uh, a clash test per se but it's uh, something that you can um, now really quickly identify by just using Orient. Another good example of that is you can choose uh, the architectural model and you can choose something in the plumbing model. Um, and what that can do for you is now you can actually check out the bathrooms in the architectural model and just make sure that there is uh, a vent run to all of the sinks and the, um, the toilets and also is there is there cold and hot water run to all the sinks. You can do this very quickly um, just to kind of do a double check. Um, and that's uh, a very fast way to do it. Um, one other thing that is a built-in feature of Orient that sometimes people forget about is the snapshotting feature. With the snapshotting feature, you can right click on anything and in any time that you're looking at one of these floor plans, you can use this snapshot button. And it's, a, it's just a great way to be able to take notes uh, directly in the model. So if I click on this snapshot button, gives me the opportunity to kind of write a comment about, uh, about why I'm taking this snapshot. So in this case, maybe we were in coordination and we decided that we were gonna move this VAV that I had right clicked on. So I can right here, move this VAV down two inches, and then I can just hit save viewpoint. And what that does is it actually just saves a regular um, uh, viewpoint in your saved viewpoints. It's a folder, it's titled with what you had put there. And uh, it has inside of it a 3D view with a red lined arrow on it and a plan view with a red lined arrow on it. So that gives uh, the detailers kind of a, a really easy way to just go and check out all the notes that you took during coordination. And if you've put action items in there for them, uh, they will see them right there. And they're able to use that 3D view and the plan view even without Sherlock. The last tip that I will leave you with is 
within the settings of Sherlock. So within the settings of Sherlock, you have a section here that allows you to select any of your selection or search sets as things that you would like to persist while you are in the plan view of Orient. Now, um, this can be useful for a couple different things. You could have a grid line model that you would like to always persist when you're in that plan view so that you see the grids. Uh, or maybe uh, you always wanna see the architecture model even when you don't right click on something in it so that you're able to always see kind of like where the room uh, boundaries are uh, whenever you're in that plan view. And that's what I have set up in this model. I have a architectural uh, selection set and if I choose that to persist while I'm in Orient, and I'll hit save settings here. And now if I right click on say this VAV again, you can see that when I'm in this floor plan view, even though I didn't choose anything in the architectural model, now the architectural model is still here in this plan view, uh, adding a little bit more context to what you're looking at. And that's it. Uh, Orient is a dead simple tool, but it can be used in many unique ways. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.